Many industries across the country are trying to figure out how to move forward with shortages of employees. It's hit pharmacies hard. Haley Burchett joins us with more on how the problem is impacting North Dakota. Haley? Good evening, Joe. You may have recently experienced a long wait time when going to pick up your prescriptions. Some of this has to do with shortages of staff and supplies. I spoke with pharmacists to find out what they're doing to solve the problem. Whitney Thomas isn't just studying to be a pharmacist, she's also recruiting for her future profession. Thomas is visiting with students at high schools to promote the program at NDSU. As a student, I had a lot of fun just going out to different high schools and just talking to the high school students there and getting an interest on what they are interested in right now. Pharmacies are facing many challenges in keeping up with patient needs and demands. This comes as schools are also struggling to meet the enrollment standards they've come to expect. Enrollment in pharmacy schools is down by up to 30 percent across the U.S. Feininger says that increasingly since COVID, remote work and research have piqued the interest of several in the industry, spreading pharmacists thin. Pharmacies like Key Care have adjusted their hours to accommodate pharmacist availability. Mike Schwab with the North Dakota Pharmacists Association says COVID took a big toll on the profession. Yeah, we definitely saw during the pandemic pharmacies were not only stressed, but very stretched. They had a lot of additional things that uh, they were told that they had to do, and I think that that caused some burnout. Despite these challenges, he encourages those interested in pharmacy to stick with it. Whether it's cost of tuition, whether it's there's other jobs out there or whatever that might be, um, pharmacy definitely is still a, a very innovative profession, especially here in North Dakota, where you can make a very big impact on patient lives. Students, like Thomas say, they hope their efforts help bring staffing numbers back. And hopefully spark a little bit of interest to improve maybe the shortage that has been incurring. Working to build back a much needed profession in the Peace Garden State. Things are changing, of course, for Trinity. Laura Lee seemed very upbeat about the new pharmacy set to open in the new Trinity Hospital. Joe? Yeah, certainly an exciting time for Trinity Health and the city of Minot. All right, Haley Burchett, thank you for that report.